Hey guys, check it out. Look at this little, just giant mainland. I don't know if you know, but anthrax are one of the largest mainlands there are. So you can see, you can see how big they are. Look at the size of these massive eggs. I mean, look at that. I mean, you can hold like six of them in your hand. <laughs> just to let you know, you don't have to make your mainland giant. So you can expand your horizons a little bit. But I thought I'd grab these eggs out. These are kind of, the cool part is that these are gonna actually have some dwarf in them. So let's see here. This small girl, looks like she did us really well. Looks like one slug, she's really pretty small. Uh, we bred her to a young male, but still, looks like we just got a pretty good sized clutch out of her. Got a, see there's a slug right there, three, four slugs. Come on girl, let me in there. Wow, she laid a lot of eggs for a little snake. You should have seen her before she laid. Yeah, there's she's another the bag of, um, where's Tim? Let's see here. Okay. Oh, 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 come on girl, I don't blame you, I'm stealing your eggs. Wow, so there's like five slugs. She is tiny, she must weigh hardly anything, look at that. From a mainland. Look at the size of those eggs. They're like microscopic. I can just about put them in my mouth. Anyway, just thought I'd show you guys what a mainland can do, no problem. Uh, she did lay four infertile eggs, but we did use some young males. Uh, pretty cool clutch. <clears throat> they're either they're either going to be citron, uh, citron, tiger, sunfire, platinums, or genetic stripe. Uh, uh, het genetic stripe, uh, sunfire platinums, head anthrax. So I don't know if I got that right. There's some cool stuff, cool opportunities. Here we go. Anyway, peace out, guys. Remember, you get to decide how big your snake gets to some degree. Obviously, if we feed that thing huge meals, it's going to be big, just like its its siblings are. <clears throat> but you don't have to feed them gigantic meals. You can feed them small meals frequently, keep their size down. When it becomes breeding season, feed them some extra and uh, get your clutch and you don't have to, and then, you know, back to the maintenance diet of a reasonable size meal instead of trying to blow your snake up to be gigantic. So if you like dwarfs, more power to you. I like dwarfs too, but I like main ones the most. And I, I like to, a lot of the morphs that are in the main ones. And so I kind of enjoy I don't really usually keep them small, but we've kind of been experimenting just for you guys out there so we could really say the truth, what the really you can really do. And uh, trust me, you can even make a super dwarf smaller too and a dwarf smaller. So you could keep those smaller too if that's the case and that's what you're shooting for. You're not gonna be able to breed your snake in three years, you know, possibly, you might have to take four years, but you know what? It's not all about time, it's not all about speed. Sometimes it's about what you want, so. Chase your dreams, guys. Peace out.